ergonomics of my desk, because right now my microphone is closer to my face than my burritos, and I take personal offense to that. As long as you don't start eating the microphone, I think you'll be okay. Like, 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 like. Like, back to my previous Creepy. day, you didn't casually eat the Cody's burritos. What burritos, man? You got none. Oh, that would be really unfortunate. That'd be very sad. Nice. <laughs> 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 That's definitely an oof. <laughs> Evil me it has conquered the world again. Just waiting for everybody to show up. And I'm back. All right. Does anybody remember where we left off last time? No. The party. We split the party. Oh, yeah, we yeah. split the party. We did? Me, yep. Roos, and Bortuna are going to Rhodia, while Chaba and Blumbles are staying on Shardon until the ship is fixed. Sure, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was going to listen to the uh, thing, but, you know. Life. Yeah. Didn't Frank Sinatra write a song about that? Yeah. Or form a song? Yeah. I don't know if he wrote it or not. He wrote a lot of the songs. Most of them about <laughs> the mob, but, you know. <laughs> no, wait, excuse me. For the mob. For the mob. Big difference. <laughs> oh, yeah. A very thick difference. Three seats. Yes. I'm kind of imagining that the drawing on Chaba's picture is from, uh, Cody. Huh? <laughs> what you mean? I've come back later. Wait, oh, I'm a spe That's why there's colors everywhere, right? Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've even been on Tabletop Simulator. Well, everybody's had a nice little break. Purposefully or not. Let's uh, let, let's have our destiny roll real quick. Let's see how bad the, uh, the force has decided to screw everybody. I feel like whenever I stop playing D&D, &D, it's like going to school for the summer. And I just completely forget how to do everything. Hey, two light side. One dark side. Two dark side. Also two dark side. Oh, okay. Yay! Which is very appropriate for side. me right now. <laughs> two dark side is very appropriate for me right now. I'm not gonna lie. On the bright side, whenever we have more dark side and light side, we always do better. <laughs> Uh, I, I have a question about this ship. Is it supposed to be this wide? No, it's just a distortion of the image. Because this was, you know, the oh, other right. image yeah. was the, the main one. And this was... That side of it. Yeah. The ship just has white hips. Don't judge. I mean, I'm a fan of thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. There. That looks more appropriate. Hey, nice. Does that make more sense now? Yeah, yeah, actually. Hold down seats? Question mark? What? What? 
in the escape pod slash airlock over here, it has in quotations, or rather in brackets, fold down seats, question mark. Is there seats in there? Well, it's an escape pod. It's probably easier to get everybody in if, you know, the seats are out of the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I there don't know why there's a question mark, but, you know, I'm not the one that created that image, so. I couldn't remember if they bought folding seats or not. I meant to get the upgrade. Should have just bought camping chairs. Would have been cheaper. <laughs> yes, but for some strange reason, they don't stay put very well. All right. Magnets. Arden. Yes. Let's kick this off properly. Could you give me an astrogation check, please? Uh, let's go with one difficulty. Sorry, I didn't have my page open. No, it's fine. Well, what do you know? Well, this is like the best course you could ever lay. <laughs> <laughs> Shave an entire day off your trip. Now he just he just feathers the throttle and they're there. <laughs> he's he's found a magical loophole in space and. Apparently, there's an instant play, instant draw from Chardon to uh, to Rodia with you know no problems. Mm -hmm. Wormholes and all that. <laughs> there's just a wormhole right there, and it leads straight to Rodia. Turns out the <laughs> ship has a built-in Stargate. <laughs> it's a fog gate. We don't want to get sued. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it's a fog gate because it goes far. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> far out, man. Indeed. Uh, the plotting of your course, you, with that triumph, you're making pretty big skips. I instead of going from like Chardin to Tyna to all Alantine, you're like going from from Chardin straight to Gamor and then down the line. You have shaved probably a full day off. I'd probably say a couple of days off the journey actually with that triumph. Just the. Clean it up nice and quick. Nice. What we need. Dang, son. Uh, the ship feels more or less the same to you. Um, there's some slight variations to it, but nothing extreme. Um, you ever had a car that goes just slightly out of alignment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically that. You know? Why is this so quiet in here? Is it just me? No, I sense it too. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm shit, you talk. It bothers me. Is it because there's no ambient music? I have my kazoo, I can play something. <laughs> oh, I gotta change the note. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. It's not playing. It's loading. <laughs> oh wow, these are completely fucking wrong ambient loops. Never mind. Oh. It was like waves and things, and it's like that's that's not gonna help nobody. No, there are fine. We are surfing the waves of hyperspace. Just find a, a chill hot beats to study slash relax to on YouTube. Because <laughs> that would fit Star Wars perfectly. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's Star Wars versions of those. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I've never found one of those. Hold on. I'm going to open up another tab while we're uh, having a please stand by moment. Oh, <laughs> if we're doing that, I can do the please stand by song. <laughs> I he cut out him. while do it. He cut out when he done that. Yeah, he it's so out. funny. <laughs> hey, I hear that. You hear ah, it? perfect. I don't hear a damn thing right now. Oh, it's so much better now. 
<laughs> I was muted because I was also looking for ambience, but oh my god, that's so much better. Sounds of the ships. Wait, I'm not the only one that can hear that, am I? Am I crazy? No, no I can I'm hear it. Really I, oh, okay, I just pulled out an ambiance cube. It's just, I'm not hearing jack shit right now. Is hmm. your sound turned down? That, that's what I thought, and I just went to my configuration. And my sound, uh, my game volume is up. My MP3 volume, voice volume, voice output are all in the middle. Uh, what about on the music one? Is it turned down on the music? I have a music one? Yeah, there's a music one. It's next to objects. It's all the way up. Hmm. Whatever, you guys are hearing it. As long as you guys <laughs> are hearing it. I'll, I'll just slowly drive myself insane with the silence. <laughs> <laughs> the trip to Rodia should only take a couple few days. Uh, you shave time off with your uh, your brilliant plot course. Mm -hmm. So, it goes by much quicker than anticipated. Uh, Roos, I would say, isn't amazed by it, but he is impressed. You know, it's like, normally it takes me like five days to get to Rodia. No. And I'm getting us there in three. Pretty much. Here. Uh, not a whole lot has really changed on the overall for the ship. But he does tell you that they did replace the, the top, uh, the dorsal turret. Uh, due to the last encounter you had with the Imperials, the weapon had been destroyed. Oh yeah, it's like a three-barrel cannon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but he tells you, I didn't want to tell Chaba or Blumbles back at the... Uh, Back at the shipyard, uh, one I don't know who called, who could have been listening, and two I would have almost guaranteed they would have attempted to try the damn thing out. Um, <laughs> it's actually a convertible turbo laser. The top goes down. He turns and looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> the three barrels are disguised to look like three barrels. When activated, they become one short-nosed turbo laser. Ah. The ship was lacking just a little bit of power power. Yeah. So does that mean we can blow up like planets and stuff now? No. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's... It's not enough to go toe to toe with a star destroyer, but in the right circumstances, it can pull you out of a fire. I did have to lose the uh, the uh, Rodian blood soaked escape pod in order to put in the power converter, though, for the turbo laser. So that's fine. I I'm glad you got rid of that nightmare. Do we have any more escape pods? The one directly behind the cockpit. Oh, okay. Well, you know, just just in case of emergencies, you never know. Uh, last time I checked, it was only a two seater, though. So. Uh. You guys want to do like Rochambeau for that, or? Do you plan on using it immediately? Well, I mean, we won't have time to Rochambeau in case of an emergency. I'm pretty sure I'm the better shot, and I can stop you. Mm. Well, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. Hopefully, we won't need it. Need to use it so that, soon. That would be the hope. But other than that, and the the medical bay instead of uh, one of the uh, passenger rooms, that's all I uh, did to the did to the ship while it was in my care. Well, I, I thank you. Yeah. You guys... I, I'm on, I honestly never expected to get the ship back. Like I said, I uh, felt like I owed you guys, so... 
I'm just hearing my wife in the background. Uh, what was uh over here again? The purple line. He put in a uh, a forward opening section. Oh, of, that's right. That's right. Uh, so instead of just loading via the ramp, you could slide open a door and front load it, basically. Okay. Okay. I, I had forgot like what that one was. All right. Didn't I also say it could double as an airlock? Uh, <laughs> you just did! Well, it'd be good for a ship-to-ship -ship connection, but it wouldn't be good to, you know... Yeah. I think I you think said you because of that, that, we could, like, <laughs> put, like, a speeder on that way. It'd be easier to get, like, a speeder bike or something in there. Yeah. Any other questions, thoughts, opinions? Mm. No, not off the top of my head. The trip to Rhodey is otherwise uneventful then. Um, as I said, if, if there's nothing really major wrong with the ship when you pilot it. It just almost feels like there's this slight out of alignment. It might be due to the fact of the new turret up on top. The huh. uh, new power converter where the uh, escape pod is possibly off-throwing the balance of the ship. Could be a number of things. It could just be age of the ship or the repairs mm -hmm. for the engines over this time. So, mm -hmm. But as the ship dumps out at Rhodia, there's a not insignificant presence of the Imperials at this point. It's not huge, but it's less than it was the last time you were here. It seems like they've been pulled out for one reason or another. Roos tells you that the procedure is pretty much the same. You're going to have to dock at one of the uh, exterior shipyards before actually getting down to the planet. Alright. Uh, won't we have to pass through some sort of check first? Uh, when we land, they'll check the ship for, you know, contraband and everything, but the uh, turret up top won't be an issue. Hasn't been an issue so far. We're not carrying anything illegal as of this time. And as long as you guys don't open your mouths very wide, you should be just fine. Uh, since the last time you guys were here, more or less the entire Imperial presence was swapped out, so nobody should recognize who you are. And as long as you stay out of the way, on the ship, not bring attention to yourself, you guys shouldn't have any issues. Yeah. Um, I'm great at not bringing attention to myself. If his head, Count on me. If you could hear the neck creak. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to go in, drop him off, maybe get fuel if we need it, and then head on out. We can't stop by a souvenir shop? No. No gambling? No. No. What about What about food? Could we go out to eat? We have food. Uh. <laughs> Did you forget the mission that we have? No. I just, you know, we spend so much time working and traveling, and we never just chill out and have a nice time. When was the last time you and I had a buddy date day, huh? When was the last time we hung out, you know? After the last mission, we had, like, a week or two off. That was, like, ages ago. That was, like, barely a week ago. Mm. I'm gonna go see if Roos wants to go out to eat somewhere. No, you're not leaving the ship. Oh, okay. We're dropping Roos <laughs> off. Getting fuel, again, if we need it. And then leaving. Um, Fine. Last bit of information. 
the the ship has been re-registered under a new name so it's no longer tracked back to the solar kraken um we renamed it the solar ja uh the star jammer nice the star jammer yeah like from the movie there's a movie well, you didn't see there we it. go I see it. And so that way I can remember. Is that a capital J? I can't tell. Uh, I only had it linked as basically one word, but any way you want to spell it is just fine. No. You're good. Seriously. And he changes it again. <laughs> uh, no, I, it, it was just, it literally just stayed the same. I, I'm just trying to figure out who's drawing on the uh, YT-1000. It's me. <laughs> there's no cockpit yeah, I was say, room. That, that's rock. That's rocky. <laughs> it's weird that there's no cockpit room. Like, look at it. I just figured it's probably right here. It is. And I don't know why it's not detailed. I just figured I'd draw it in there. Well, I mean, it is kind of blatant that that. Wait, wait, no, hang cockpit. on a minute. There's a ladder here that leads to the cockpit. Excuse me. Yeah, it goes up and over that uh, cargo corridor. Oh well, okay. This isn't necessary. Or maybe under the corridor corridor. It doesn't fucking matter. It, it it's on the other side of that little corridor. Trillion company really liked turtles, apparently. Turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle. Okay. Star Jimmer. Huh. Dropping off a passenger. Potential refuel. How are the fuel levels of the ship? Um, at this point I'd probably say they're about half. Okay, yeah, refuel then. What? We still have half a tank. We still have to go all the way back to Pax? Pax. I see how it is. Yep, yep. You're, you're, it's all Which fine and dandy to stop and fuel up, but do you want to stop and grab some grub? No. <laughs> Roos kind of looks at you through, you know, you can, he's wearing the helmet once more, and he, he kind of looks at you, and he's like, I will bring you something back if you stay on the ship. You got a deal. Let's shake on it. He shakes on uh, it. What? He shakes on it, really? <laughs> it's Why unbelievable. Are so Why are you so surprised? I think he's genuinely surprised that Roos doesn't want to shoot him. I mean, I, I was about ready to reach for, like, a food bar and shove it in his mouth just to shut him up. And uh, the uh, comms come in. Uh, this is Rodia Station. Uh, designation and purpose of your visit. Uh, Star Jammer, passenger drop-off. Mm -hmm. And refuel. Mm-hmm. Uh, refuel. All right. You'll want to head to Landing Bay 3. Uh, park in, go through inspections, and then you'll be able to drop off and refuel. All right. Ready control, out. All right. Over to Bay 3. It's the same structure that... Not the same one that you guys had went to previously, because that would be foolish. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you go to one of the Bay 3, land the ship. Uh, there's one other vessel in there. Uh, it looks like just a uh, uh, no name freighter, basically. You know, call it a box. I don't give a shit. We, we're not needing it for illustrative purposes. Uh, a set of three stormtroopers come out with the scanning equipment. And uh, they knock on the the hatch area. Very inspection. Open up. Oh. Open it. <laughs> Opening the hatch. Uh, they come on board with their you know they can't quite get the thing up the ramp and around the bend so the stormtrooper's like do you have a ramp to uh, get load cargo onto this vessel 
Uh, yes, on the front. Now uh, we'll need side over here. We'll need access through that, please. We'll do. Lowering it now. They go over and bring the big scanning box, you know, through that way and start going through the ship. Portuna. <clears throat> yes. What are you doing? I've uh, I've kind of like got my hands behind my back, like I'm trying really hard to look innocent, and I'm just kind of smiling and watching. Are you in the cockpit? Are you in the cargo bay? Are you just in the lounge? I'm kind. I'm following the stormtroopers at a distance. Please no. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to be stealthy or not? No, I'm just just kind of walking behind him. Oh lord. Just like I'm curious. Getting out some dice. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad move. You think? Hi, it's me, Bortuna Jr. I have returned to the scene of the crime. <laughs> you know how many Twi lifes there are in the galaxy? The stormtrooper is leading the efforts about getting the ship scanned, and he, like, looks at you and says, Can I help you? I just wanted to look at the scanner. It looked kind of cool. That was all. Just, <laughs> just, just curious. I don't get out much. <laughs> I was gonna have you roll like deception, but now I'm actually curious if you're actually interested in the scanner. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, it's genuine interest. Coercion. One difficulty. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's not something, you know, they normally let people look at kind of a thing, so. Understandable, understandable. Why is my... Oh, I'm on... I wasn't on the picking, I was on the flicking. That's why. You just <sighs> launch dice halfway across the table? That would be very unfortunate. <laughs> you just... Wee. Okay. Hey. That is a uh, three success, one threat. He, like, kind of looks at you, kind of... The helmet just tilts a little bit off to the right, and it's like... Nobody's really shown interest in the job. Let's, don't get in the way. Okay. He goes back to doing what he's doing, and mm -hmm. scan here. <laughs> Check that. Deep in that stormtrooper's soul, he's like, Finally! <laughs> Someone's interested! <laughs> Someone cares! <laughs> I have been with the stormtrooper brigade for... Three years and not one person has ever given a shit about my job. <laughs> <laughs> the scans come back clean. They vacate the ship and say, uh, you're free to uh, pursue whatever business you had here at the uh, radio station. Don't get into any trouble. I don't want to be back out here. At that, Roos goes... That is my signal. I'm going to go get you guys some food. You fuel up. I'll be back here, hopefully within the hour. And right. Rose leaves. Bye! What a nice guy. You know, I think I kind of understand why he shot me forever ago. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Uh, I'm a little bewildered. By what? <laughs> Never mind, just... Don't... Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Psych! <laughs> oh, okay. I would say it's expected, but I'm just waiting for him to shoot you at this point. <laughs> this life would be easier if you're just constantly stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is true in most scenarios. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, yes. Uh, anyways, I guess I'll get the fuel for, for the ship. You contact to fuel the ship. You contact the control. Um, and they let you know that uh, with your request and being cleared through the inspections, um, they've sent out a crew to get you the fuel you need. Um, all things considered, for port stay and everything like that, it's probably going to come up to about 500 credits to fuel the ship as well as your stopover stay.
<laughs> Man, kind of wish they would have gave us a rebellion credit card, huh? <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, Bortuna, do you have 400 credits? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll take that 400 off your tab. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that works with me. Actually, you know what? Pay for the whole thing, and I'll take that off your tab. Yeah, yeah, that worked. Yeah. Fortuna's now just the credit card. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the exact amount you said? Was it five hundred? Yes, yeah, five hundred. Okay, I couldn't remember if there was change with that at all. What do you have? A five hundred and twenty-six, you know, credit, you know, stick. I'm expecting a little bit shaved off for the end for you. Well, you know, what with sales tax and, you know, things like that, in the economy that's going on right now, you just never can tell, okay? Yeah, I'm going to start using that for all future things with Star Wars. I'm going to start incorporating tax per planet. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> what have I done? Everybody just thank, thank you. Fortuna for this. <laughs> thank you, Fortuna. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, do we have to pay taxes? Like imperial taxes? Like, do we get audited each year or something? <laughs> you know, nobody's gone into the mundane of the Star Wars universe like that, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing. <laughs> oh, no! Probably. <laughs> the imperial IRS. Imperial income tax. <laughs> the refueling of the ship doesn't take too terribly long. It takes less than half an hour uh, after they arrive to get fueled up. Uh, Roos arrives shortly after they finish. He was gone for about a total of about 50 minutes. Back right around an hour. He's got this, like, takeaway sack, almost. He hands it to Wartuna and says, Don't say I didn't do nothing. My man! You know you're all right. And Roos again leaves. Oh. Bye! He wishes you both luck on your journeys <laughs> and your adventures, and leaves. Alright, thank you. Good luck, Roos. He nods. Bye! Well, uh, I guess I should probably pay those folks, and then I can get down to eating my grub. You've already paid. I did already pay. Okay, I didn't know if I had to specify or not, because uh, sometimes you do tricky stuff like that. That's understandable. I, I figured once they left, you paid, they paid, you know, situation got handled. Okay. You okay, asked okay. about the money and deductions, so I assumed that there was no underhandedness going on and just went from there. Okay, okay, okay. Just as long as we're all on the same page. Then it's time for Grub. You guys uh, sit down while in the he's, lounge. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, while he's sitting down, I'm just going to go ahead and and get us on out of here and back on our ways. Alright, give me a quick piloting check at one difficulty. Really shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, easily. Easily. The ship Easy. lifts up off the... Uh, off the deck plating, turns around, and right back out the side. There's no harassment from any Imperial vessels. You guys cleared inspection when you arrived. So, just a second, gentlemen. Arden, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Aren't they, aren't, don't they get used to it. aren't they supposed to, like, shoot us and stuff? Uh, don't. I, I enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. This stuff's great. Do me a favor, Fortuna. Is Roll me a nice chance cube and tell me which color is your favor. Oh, should I just go ahead and get a resilience roll ready? <laughs> Blue is my favor. Oh! What, what in the ever living? <laughs> and we split the difference. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! No. You, you, no. How indeed? <laughs> I, <laughs> right. Huh? If you hold Alt and hover over it, it's blue. <gasps> hey! All right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of that. I did. I'm... I did too. 
I'm gonna go ahead and Bortuna, save Bortuna, finally. Clip. Is this the first time Bortuna succeeded a chance cube? I think it is. I think it, so. It broke <laughs> the bad. system. It was... <laughs> the fact it happened, it broke it. You saw it. it does not compute. Alright. You have successfully, and you are eating the meal that Roos got for you. Whew. You like look down and you realize that the that there's a label on the package, and all of a sudden you look at the one that you're eating. It's a Fortuna. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that could have been a close call. Mmm, <laughs> space burgers. Basically, do you give him? Do you give Arden his? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, uh, I, I make no assumptions anymore. <laughs> I'm going to walk it to him. I'm just, here you go, Arden. It's irresponsible to eat and fly, but here you go. Oh, uh, thanks. I stole one of your fries. Okay. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Psych! <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Bortuna. I start plotting the course to leave the Pax. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heading straight to Pax? Well, not straight there, but I want to go take the course to get there. But that's what I mean. You're heading to yeah Pax. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me an astrogation check one more time. This time, let's still do two difficulty because you are getting updated information. What in the ever living hell is going on with the dice today? I, I don't know. Is they broken? Well, I finally okay, leveled out. So it's just four success, two threat. Yeah. Yep. Two threat. This one cancels out. Uh, uh, the plot is successfully laid. However, um, some time is tacked on. Um, I'd say uh, well, maybe about six hours, but that's something you wouldn't really notice on the long term kind of a situation. Yeah. It's still a ways away, so you're still looking yeah. at like a four day journey, basically. Two packs from here. Okay. Uh, Underway we go. Whoosh, boom. And Bortuna, you have a, a, a pretty solid hamburger, all things considered. Nice. Uh, Arden, once you unwrap yours, you basically have a steak sandwich. No. Ooh. Nice. Fancy. Okay. Space Sonic rules. You two, I'm back on Chardon. Oh, who? That blumbles. Uh, yeah. It looks like you're dozing off. You think if I stick this hot dog into the hyperdrive, it'll cook it? The core, you know, the core <laughs> of the hyperdrive. Hmm. You know how things can get well done? I think it'd be hyper done at that point. I'm just going to put it in there just in case and see what happens after we, you know, jump. <laughs> I'm going to make a note of this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, that should be vaporized, shouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> See, this it is should be fine. What are we even Hot doing when we have hyperspace? Are we, like, opening a wormhole and moving through space? Because if so, does that mean... You know, this is getting a little bit too complicated. Do we, do we want to call we it the manifold, do? or do we want to call it, like, the compression chamber? <laughs> uh, the manifold. He didn't put it in the hyperspace. <laughs> you just said you did. Uh, he put it like, okay, so you you open up the housing of the hyperdrive, and you don't open up the module of the hyperdrive. I don't think you are even supposed to open the modules of hyperdrives, because then you get massively irradiated by, like, dark matter or something. Space matter. Hyperdrive fuel injector. <laughs> Hot dog and hyperdrive manifold. <laughs> Oh, this will come into play later, gentlemen. Trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Mm. 
Yes. I was looking at my notes and I don't seem to have caught the name for the the ship that we have been supplied by the rebels. You never had one. Okay. Never gave it to you because it didn't have one. It was just the <laughs> YT-1000. Gotcha. It is a more than gently used but not in terrible shape vessel uh, as previously <laughs> documented. Um, it is missing some parts because apparently uh, the gentleman, Sopril, decided that he was actually going to get money off the vessel if, you know, another vessel, I should say, by having the parts in that. But the parts were delivered by Roos. So at this point in time, they are just working on this YT-1000. <laughs> and Chaba and Blumbles, are you... Helping? Or are you just oversight? What are you two doing? Besides jamming hot dogs in the hyperdrive manifold. <laughs> Probably helping, right? Yeah, Blumble's like carrying supplies for him and stuff. What was the plan again? Well, we supposed uh, to go to PAX, or we were supposed to wait for him to come back. I they, we they were dropping to go to off. PAX and then wait for him to come back at PAX. Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, Arden really wanted us to stay here, just in case. Yeah. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Is it me, or does it always smell like a used speeder bike in here? Well, yeah, I mean, we're literally in a used ship, right? Well, uh, yeah, I know, but used ships tend to have like a, I don't know, rusty smell to them. It smells more like... <laughs> Old leather. You know, now that you say that, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? It's weird. <laughs> it is weird. I don't even almost think it's like, rubber. Leather. Almost like sarlacc leather. Hmm. Hmm. Aren't a the human, a human, pops his head out from the side of the engine area. Are you two actually gonna fucking do anything? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, cool your jets, sir. Or just philosophizing, you know. I'm just, uh, more like just shooting the shit. I'm just hearing a tall one roar at the short one, the short one whistling, clicking back. <laughs> well, maybe if you would, like, learn more languages, you'd understand what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, friggin'. Uh, yeah, why am I wasting my breath? I can't understand this. I think you should have downloaded a Rosetta Crystal. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, come on, it's not that hot. Or that, you know, the duo, uh, what's it called? The duo, uh, I can't remember. Something. You know, you get it on the, the data slabs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But uh, Rosetta Crystal has a one-month free trial, so there's really no excuse for this. Isn't the duo one free, though? Like, completely? Yeah, but I've heard they kind of put some bad, uh, uh, what do they call them these days? Uh, viruses, mm -hmm. I think. There is filled with viruses or something. I think the emperor is trying to shut that down quick. Uh, yeah, Anything yeah. free, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, Tends the emperor is just sitting in his office. That's too much free software. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to pay for WinRAR. Oh, no! <laughs> Those <laughs> stupid stormtroopers. <laughs> stupid stormtroopers are always downloading viruses. <laughs> Oh, Where's my, my IT? Entity. My lord, that's just a Windows 10 update. <laughs> the Shoot some of lightning. <laughs> your, your system wasn't surge proof. <laughs> Slides on sunglasses. Yeah! You should have downloaded Linux. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why it took the Death Star so long to fire. Yeah. <laughs> Right, sub command, sub routine. Why can't we just make it a button? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, the guy goes back to working on the engine. I guess we'll help. Yeah. Give me a mechanics check at three difficulty. Ooh, I got two green. <sighs> Whoop! Difficulty. And I am like 
having weird lag today. Remember what you said about the dice? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two fail, one threat from me. Uh, Blumbles is burning things. <laughs> so, yeah, I got like uh, a triumph oh. and uh, three success. And uh, a bunch of threat, like literally four threat. <laughs> you have success. What is going on with your area, Rocky? I have a lot of things. I'm just trying to organize. <laughs> Everything's flipping around at such random speeds. <laughs> Wait, I can. No, that's the wrong one. Uh collapse uh, you know just, just put them in my hand <laughs> I can't put them in my hand <laughs> you get the engine repaired uh, when you uh, hook up wow I can't even remember everything that I said was wrong with it I know that it was missing some pieces from the hype drive a piece from the engine as well as the control console up in the cockpit. Was there anything else that was missing? I believe that was mm -hmm. it. It was only like three parts. Yeah, three major parts, but only three parts. All right. Uh, you got this part for the engine installed and placed. Uh, the human is, you know, kind of takes his hands off because you're like chirping at him as well as having your hands fucking fly. You have. <laughs> successfully made it so that this thing will accelerate faster but it's a little bit more fragile which means if uh, you ever hit a despair there's going to be a catastrophe you mm. know make a note I like I like whack the guy in the chest now that right there that's how you overclock basically all you do is you just take the screwdriver and you kind of stab the processor a little bit you know you just give it a little crack in the right there like that yeah and uh, whenever it gets hot it gets hot. That makes the engines go faster. Also, I just kind of painted it red. I'm just picturing you jamming three wires where there's only one necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I stick a, a stick like a little Sonic sticker on it. Blumbles. Yes. You uh, wipe the sweat from your brow, give uh, Chaba the thumbs up, and. Uh, you have successfully ripped the door off the microwave. <laughs> he just, he just like gives a thumbs up and like goes to open the microwave. And just, <laughs> he just looks down at it, looks at Chava, and just like show, tries to put it back in place and just like leans it against the opening. Oops. <laughs> I imagine he puts it back on and it won't stay, so he just like leans against it so it'll yeah. stay there. <laughs> yeah. I just give him a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, human gets up and is like, ah, it's time for lunch. Where's that microwave? <laughs> I point at it. Excuse me, Mr. Wookie. Oh, Blumple stares at it for a second. <laughs> he just points over the guy's shoulder and goes, nope. <laughs> He says, look over there. <laughs> Give me a deception he... check at two difficulty. <laughs> What's my deception? Not very good. Uh, two green. So what's the difficulty again? <laughs> two. Okay, Why are you collecting this... dice? Oh wait, this is John's <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, John. Oh, I do that a lot. Dice, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three success and two. <laughs> He looks behind him looking for the microwave. He's like, okay, um, where... Is this it? He opens up, you know, a, a panel on the hyperdrive and pulls out a hot dog. <laughs> Was somebody cooking something? 
Uh, Bubbles just looks confused and just gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, nobody's claiming it? Nobody's? Uh, okay. He takes a bite out of the hot dog. Moves about his day. And the hot dog <gasps> is now gone. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Oh, that was close. He just gets off the microwave and just leans the door against the microwave. You know, you probably could have just... Uh, you know, made it look like he ripped the door off. Yeah, that was my plan, but he saw the... He found the hot dog first. Wait, the hot dog? He moved my hot dog? Yeah, he took it. from the space phone. <laughs> what did he do with it? Uh, current, he is currently eating it, I believe. Was it cooked? Uh, it must have been. He seemed Give to enjoy it. Give me a perception check one difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really oh. matter if a hot dog is cooked? It's probably, I mean, like... It really depends on the type of hot dog. It also, it also really, it, it matters to us. Because we're, you know, <laughs> but we are who we are. We've had <laughs> many hot dog related in yeah. uh, <laughs> incidents. That's one advantage. You hear uh, from, like, down in the hallway, ah, it tastes like this thing's covered in grease. <laughs> and not, like, good grease. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's inconclusive. Good thing I got another hot dog. I'm gonna put another hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta unscratch out what I scratched out. <laughs> where did you? Where do you get these things? Where'd you get them? I'm a Java dude. <laughs> He's got this 24 pack of like bar ass hot dogs under his robe. <laughs> They've been in there for three weeks. I just like take Minimally. one out of one small and just eat it. <laughs> they, they've they're been like, in there a while. They're gas station hot dogs too, so they're they're basically invulnerable. So you know, <laughs> you could stop a bullet. Mm -hmm. nah, Not a blast bullet, but a bullet. Depends on how long they're left in the hyperdrive manifold. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Sopril comes on board. He's like, "Hey, you too." Mm. We should be all mm. done. The uh, engine's done. Hyperdrive was repaired. Console repaired. Should be good to go. All right. I give him a thumbs up and like walk over to him. Here, like, I know this doesn't cover everything, but you know, better than nothing. And I, like slap down a hundred credits in his hand. He looks at the one hundred credits. <laughs> Looks at you. Throwing a hot dog. Hot dog? <laughs> there you go. I pull one out of my coat, my robes, and give it and slap it in his hand on top of the credits. Pull, pulls up the hot dog, starts eating it. Fly safely. Good luck. Thank you for your business. Uh, something like that. I've already been paid. Just how you... <clears throat> Just how <laughs> The ship is now officially in your hands. It is repaired. Except for the microwave. <sighs> Except for the microwave. And now we wait. How long are you guys waiting? You want to go out on town? Hell yeah, I want to go out on the town. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you leaving the ship here, or are you taking the ship to town? Can we take the ship to town? <laughs> yeah, it's your ship now. I mean, I don't, I don't think Sopral would be pretty happy if this is like, like taking up lot space in his lot, would he? Or does he care? Probably would, actually. That's why I was asking if you were taking the ship or not. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, hell, we flying yeah, land over. Because I know every time that I go and buy a vehicle, it's perfectly fine for me to leave it parked in the lot for a couple <laughs> of days. <laughs> you mean the space doesn't come with the car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll fly it over the nearest town. Give me a piloting check. Will do! Planet, uh, piloting space. Uh... Let's go with three difficulty. Oh man, this old girl. I say Bumbles will help him co pilot. He actually does have a rank or two in piloting, uh, planetary anyway. 
I will wait on that just in case I get either a lower d difficulty or a blue die. Uh, I have two. I have one yellow and uh, one green. It's not amazing, but he's decent. But yours is planetary. Yes. Oh, oh is he doing piloting space? Yes, because yeah. this is a spaceship. Oh, okay. I thought it was all atmosphere related. Probably the same, unless it's, unless you have a rank in piloting planetary. Oh, no. I have a rank in piloting planetary, but not space. You can still try to help. <laughs> sure, I'll look. What could happen? <laughs> I'll use a, a two green. Any difficulty I got to contest with? Or is it just a... Let's <laughs> go with... One difficulty. Okay. Because I have a feeling that if I make it any more, it's... Three success, one threat? Yeah, he, he is all over that cockpit because it's not really built for a, a, a being like him. So you get the blue die because he has successfully helped, but the irremovable black die because he's a big fuzzy walking carpet. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Hey. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Um, uh, One success. No, two success. Yeah, it's two success, and that's it. Just balance. Uh, that's not balance, but it is two success, which is better than, you know, what it could have been. Um, yeah. The ship does successfully lift up after uh, a little bit of a warm up and cruises along pretty smoothly, as a matter of fact. For a vehicle as old as what you think this thing is, uh, we're talking it might be as old as Blumbles is, believe it or not. <laughs> Damn. The ship flies pretty well. Ugh, this is tight. You yeah, it's your seats in this thing. It's, it's weird how small it is. Yo, no, Bob, I have a question for you. Oh, yeah? Did the Wookiees ever manage to, like, build ships of their own? Uh, that's actually a good question. I believe the term is yes. But yeah. honestly, I don't know because I've never seen any official or legend information on Wookiee starships. Same. We know that they have ship ships. You know, they have actual space, uh, not space, planet side vessels. But I've never heard of them having spaceships. Unless you All count right. the, uh, the escape pod thing that freaking Yoda takes. But yeah. I don't know if that was a Wookiee item or not. You know, I'll just make up some bull crap. <clears throat> uh, Blumbles looks at you and says, Well, uh, before the Empire came about, we were kind of working on some base, uh, space uh, ships, but all we had mostly was planetary. Uh, so, like, uh, vessels that could probably move rudimentarily in between the, the planetary systems in your sector. As in, like, from a planet to a moon and whatnot. Like that? No, oh, no, no. I mean, planet side. As in, it, it can oh, only move oh, within oh. the bounds of the planet. Oh, so planetary vehicles. Okay, yeah. As far as I'm aware, Jawas haven't made anything except for, like, giant land crawlers. So, <laughs> I'm sure we could those. probably cobble together something, but, you know, we're not really uh, organized enough for that. So, Just so you know, they didn't make those. I didn't figure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story he was told. Her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's in the Jawa history books when they go to Jawa <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> Literally every page is stolen, so it's yeah. all like mishmashed and cobbled together. Yeah, it all looks like those ransom notes that are like cobbled together from magazine, <laughs> magazine. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking like different book sources. Like you got a page from a math book, and then you got a page from. Like... Oh, yeah. That's you even better. A magazine page in there. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a magazine page from a, a Twi'lek, <laughs> like a Twi'lek. Uh, porno book or something oh whoa yeah. okay so oh, <laughs> you still, <laughs> we, i imagine it's literally just a page too there's no words in there at all yeah. it's just a page and we make up shit every time we look at the page <laughs> yeah i can believe that definitely oh man okay so yeah, we just kind of fly over to the next town and we land wherever we really can. If we have to declare clearance, we will, I suppose. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I declare clearance. 
Sir, you must switch to a different channel. All we're ca ca picking up on this end is whistles and clicks. <laughs> Blubbles will lean over. Uh, can you understand me? Great, now there's something really wrong with this radio. We <laughs> <laughs> switch to a different channel. See if somebody else can hear us. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Uh, eventually, you, you just go through the channels and nobody's understanding a goddamn word you're saying. Either one of you. You sit down and there's like a two guards standing outside the ship. And then they see a Wookiee and a Jawa coming off and they're like, There's nothing wrong with the radios, you jackasses! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's one thing I was afraid of. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, the the docking fee is twenty credits. Do you guys got twenty credits between you two? And I hope you understand me. K pop. <laughs> Lovels will just look at him, look at Chava, and just like go over and give the guy twenty credits. Oh, thank fuck. All right. Guys, you two are good. Um, you probably talk here for a couple of days, and we're not expecting anybody, so you're good. Oh, yeah, I bumbles. How much fuel is in that thing? Uh, did they check, or did we have to check that? Nobody uh, checked. I should probably go look at that. Hang on, I'll be right back. Don't let them leave. Uh, Blumble's like, <laughs> I'll basically look at him and uh, wave his hand. So. Stay here and point at the ground. Point at them, point at ground. <laughs> and then he'll go over to the ship to... <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, like, go outside the ship and, like, look where the fuel may be. We put oh, the I fuel. just went in the cockpit. <laughs> 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 yes, they have a fuel dipstick on the outside of the ship, Blumbles. <laughs> <laughs> It's that old. Oh, it's more like he was going to gesture toward the fuel, where the fuel would be injected. Like, are, you, are you gesturing at the two guys? <laughs> yeah, like, point at the two guys and point for the fuel. <laughs> he looks at you and is like, I, I think you're trying to say that you need fuel? He makes the motion of pulling a hose and pulling it at the ship. It's a jackal. I was right, we are playing charades. <laughs> I think he means fuel. No, uh, we we'll we'll get a fuel truck. We'll get we'll get a fuel truck. Almost gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> uh Chaba. Uh huh. Give me a chance cube. What's in your favor? Red, baby. Yeah. Hey. hey. It's about three quarters full. Oh, uh. Alright. Oh, this isn't what I was expecting at all. Okay. And he goes back out. Okay, so we got about three quarters of a tank. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, wait, where'd they go? Uh, they went to go get fuel. Oh, well, I guess that'll work that then. <laughs> we wait here or leave? Well, they can't understand us, so bad someone wants to stay here to pay. I just like, yeah, what kind of ground are we looking at here? Like, are we on like a tarmac? Are we on like sand? Um, dirt parking lot. All right, I, I, I'm gonna like uh, pull. I pull one of the hot dogs out of my uh, out of my robe, and I draw like a three quarter, like I, I put like a three quarter symbol like, on the ground. And then I just point, uh, put like an arrow pointing to the ship, and I'm like, "All right, that's good enough." And I just kind of throw <laughs> the hot dog. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, Blumble's just—he just grabs him and puts him on his shoulder real quick. I think we should stay here. Oh, oh all right. Just to be sure. Hot dog hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guys. Oh, my God. The guys come back. Um, they got like a small hover truck. It looks like it's got a, a, a gas tank on the top, basically. You know, <laughs> he comes around and hang on just a second. I actually, I'm still gonna roll for this. <laughs> he sees the hot dog hieroglyphic in the ground, like three quarters full. You I give him a thumbs up. You're, you're, thumbs up. 
it is three quarters or you need to go to three quarters? I hold up one finger. First one. Heard. <laughs> you know, you go over, it hooks up the tank, and. Chung, 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 chung. But, uh, a few minutes go by, and then disconnects the, the supply line and heads over and goes, okay. I imagine you can both understand me because he was actually motioning to me and, and responding, and you responded to what I said. So I know you can understand me. Yeah, you know, I give my thumbs up. The fuel is 200 credits. I like the bubbles. You got that or you want me to take it? Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Right. He hands the man 200 credits. Looks at the credits. Right, no, looks no. at you guys. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up as well. Now, you're absolutely sure we're not supposed to go to PAX, right? I'm pretty sure Arden was pretty clear about us staying here. If only we had a way to contact them. Well, we do, but uh, comlinks don't go that far. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I think if we boost... Nah, that's a bad idea. Let's just go on to town, then. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I have a small interjection. Do our ships not have, like, the hologram, the hologram tables? No. Oh, okay. Um, I will let you know this, um, simply because of the era and time period and everything like that. Most hollow communications are military restricted at this point in oh. time. Okay. So some of the older vessels might have the capability, but if you're caught using it, it is big trouble. That is yep. so strange to me. Uh, yeah, the Emperor was very anal about it. <laughs> nah, a lot of distance bills. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do uh, we know in Cucamonga? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a Dagobah? So, <laughs> you gentlemen, Chaba and Blumbles, go out and about on the town. Um, there's lots look of strange nice looks restaurant. at you guys. You're oh, yeah. Not very often they see, you know, a Jawa. Much less a Wookiee with a Jawa. <laughs> so. Just give him the occasional wave if he gets these people staring. <laughs> Alright, so let's try to hunt down a food place. Oh, there's a hot dog stand over there. Uh, I'm kind of sick of hot dogs for now. Ice cream. Right there. Ooh. Ice cream. <laughs> Space ice cream. It's probably not real milk. No, it's blue milk. Everything's blue tinted. <laughs> oh, what if they have, uh, uh... What are those things on Hoth called again? Those weird donkey things? Tauntauns? Yeah, what if they have Tauntaun milk ice cream here? I don't even ask, but I don't think he can understand us. Yeah, probably Hey, you not. know what? We should steal a droid while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it was an ice cream droid, I might agree. That is a genius idea, Blumbles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we can find one, maybe. But I'd prefer to be with... Well, we're out of shouting distance of Arden. And out of shooting distance of Imperials for now, so... Hmm. <laughs> Blumbles. The two most important things to consider. G give, give me a chance, Cube. Uh, <laughs> what color is your favor? What's your favorite ice cream flavor, Rocky? And what color would it be? Uh, red and vanilla. <laughs> red blood stained <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> red. There's two droids serving <gasps> the ice cream. The, it looks. It looks like a a, a three PO unit. You know, Ooh. it looks like a protocol droid. Just, you know. Welcome to Space Creams, where all your flavors are available. The other droid Kay. is a gonk droid. Powering <laughs> the table. You ever you ever uh, seen the, uh, the ice cream tables where they put the cream on the table and they add the ingredients and the table itself cools 
the cream mixture yeah. down to make the ice cream. Yeah. That's what you yeah. fucking got. Oh, nice. The gonk is powering the table. Uh, Blumbles uh, looks to the protocol droid. Can you understand me? I am built to serve. I understand any customer. Oh. I understand the language of money best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have any Tauntaun uh, milk chocolate ice cream? I can make that. Oh, yes. Correction. Out of Tauntaun milk. Oh, of course. Every time. I can make that's something. A, that's how they get you. I, 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 <clears throat> Sorry, Droid. We can make all kinds of flavors. I can make something that tastes like Tauntaun milk. Hmm. Be right back. All right. Let's go for it. Flavors. Yeah, sure, why not? Give me a artificial Tauntaun chocolate ice cream. Coming right up. And he Soft serve. Does not compute. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> he starts, you know, cobbling together some creams and various berries and whatnot and starts mixing it right there up on the table for you. Ooh. Bumbles is thoroughly entranced. With your combination of flavors, that will be 30 credits. Oh, well, that's pretty expensive for ice cream, but uh, whatever. It's worth it. <laughs> he gives it a robbery. Credit. Really? And what do you want, Chava? I'll just take a plain vanilla ice cream cone. Uh, after, you know, a couple minutes, the uh, he scoops up what's, you know, been made on the table and puts it into a little cup and hands it to you, Bumbles. One vanilla cup coming right up. And more cream <laughs> goes on the table. And then he kind of looks at his ingredients and is like, so few ask for vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Puts a couple I'm more things so on the table and just starts making it up for you. <laughs> a couple minutes go by, that's eventually done. And he puts it into a cone for you. And does the little Wookiee want some sprinkles? <laughs> 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 I'm insulted you didn't ask me the first time. I think he's talking about me. Oh, well, I want sprinkles, too. <laughs> I, I don't want sprinkles. No sprinkles. Sprinkles for everyone! And, like, a little cannon comes out the shoulder and just <laughs> sprinkles everywhere. <laughs> Where's that, where that ion blaster at? It's back on the Star the Dreamer. Still has that. <laughs> Damn it. But Bubbles is just covered in sprinkles. <laughs> He was sprinkles all over his fur and everything. He, he's just he's just happy. He's just eating his sprinkled ice cream. How much? Was uh, that? Hmm? The How vanilla much? cone is only ten credits. Ten credits. Bottom ten credits. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Please enjoy your ice cream. You want my sprinkled <laughs> bubbles? Uh, sure. <laughs> you you don't understand. He's like, you know, it's like a confetti cannon. They're just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, when you ask that, Blumble just like puts a hand like on the top of your hood and just like scrapes some of the sprinkles off your, off your head <laughs> into his cup. I meant on the ice cream, but that works too, I guess. <laughs> All things considered, yeah. it's actually really good ice cream. Very nice. I've never met one of those type of shops that make bad ice cream, so. Yeah. It's hard to mess up ice cream. Did Blumbles get artificial Tauntaun milk chocolate? Was that what it was? Basically. Yes. I'm making notes of this because I feel like it's a very important trivia in the future when we finally have Jeopardy <laughs> night for our Star Wars thing. <laughs> that, that's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bumbles, uh, he just goes down a block, stays within view of the ice cream droids, and just enjoys his treat. Uh, after you two leave, uh, a, a pair of small children come up and sprinkles! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, it's all a little shiny, uh, shiny, uh, multicolored little 
sprinkles. It makes kids happy, I think. Although I don't know why he shoots them out like that. It's got a hmm. yeah, a little bit. What if he? I wonder if he's an Empire droid. That'd be interesting. It would be interesting, yeah. Although Super I really ice doubt cream it. spy droid. Yes. <laughs> That'd be the perfect cover-up. <laughs> well, mm. I don't think that we should steal an ice cream droid. I mean, I want to, but I, I don't think that. You know. Yes. That, we, don't have, we don't have the ionization blaster either. Yeah, we'd have to buy another one of those. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I'd feel kind of bad stealing uh, an ice cream droid. It looks like the, <laughs> that's most of the joy the kids have in this place, really. Well, I mean, that, you know, dumpster diving crime yeah well ice cream can act as a temporary block from that that's true well i might as well head back to the ship i guess because uh Bumbles, give me a perception check too difficulty uh -oh. Ooh. i swear if a mandalorian shoots my ice cream <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't right, but different. now it is <laughs> Do I roll one more? Uh, no, you're good. It, it was okay. too difficult. Uh, you feel a, a tugging down towards your leg. Uh, Blumbles looks looks down. There's this kid that's like shaking the sprinkles out of your fur, looks up at you, <laughs> and then runs. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, thanks. Blumbles calls out as the kid runs away. I imagine Obuki screaming at him makes him run faster. <laughs> yeah, good in his desk. We would have given him some sprinkles. Oh, I mean, uh, he just shakes his leg. Yeah, I'm be washing those out for a good uh, week. Yeah, at least it's not fire. Yeah, definitely better than fire. You remember that time, uh, I think it was the first time Bortuna made Sloppy Joes. I think I was trying to help him out in the kitchen. They just, like, exploded. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know how you explode a sloppy Joe, but he managed it. There was a lot of hair in the meat out of that. Yeah. For, like, a week, we were getting, like, hair. In the... I mean, it didn't bother me any because, you know, I'm used to it. But, you know, everyone else was like, hey, where's all this hair coming from? Bartuna doesn't even have hair. Neither does Ramirez. Neither of them have hair. They're both, like, <laughs> reptilian or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I think that was yeah. also the day that I put a, a sign on the ice cream machine to make them think it was broken. Oh, uh, yeah, it worked for a while. Yeah. <laughs> then I think like, one of them saw me using it, and they kind of figured it out. <laughs> Not Ramirez. He's pretty dense. Yeah, Ramirez is pretty uh, thick-headed. Gungans as a whole are pretty... Uh, I don't want to say thick-headed. Oh, no, that's... Uh, st overstepping the bounds. But, Half a uh, galaxy away, Ramirez is like, My ears are burning. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, the Gungans are a lot like the Wookiees in a way. Simple on the outside, but there's more going on. Insidious or no? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, look at you with your giant rifle. <laughs> sure, not a lot of people would expect a Java to have that. Well, well no, they probably don't expect it, but that. Well, that's a, that's a relative term. They might expect it, but they probably don't uh, expect see. it to hurt so much. <laughs> well, that may be. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> what are you two doing now? Uh, I guess now we wait. So you're just sitting on a corner eating your ice creams? <laughs> that's what Blumhouse is going to do. <laughs> it's, well, it's, let's hope that happens. It's not a huge city, you know. It's a fairly small town, you know, but it's it's quaint, fairly quiet. Not really, you know, huge amount of Imperials running around. So, guys are mostly <laughs> left unhindered and you know unharassed. Just that Spread. one kid, you know, grabbing sprinkles out of Blumble's fur. There's even Imperials on this point. I guess they're kind of everywhere, kind of unavoidable. Mm -hmm. And depending on how important a site is depends on how many you see <laughs> uh, what type of planet is Shardon anyway uh, temperate 
some forest. Uh, there's a known shipyard here, so. But this is a town that's not anywhere near that shipyard, so Imperial Presence is lower. <laughs> uh, Blumbles, we should probably get a few supplies from when we need to move the ship, and uh, then I guess we just wait, right? Yeah, we should probably go stock up. I, I guess uh, we go do that, and then we head back to the ship. What are you guys trying to stock up on? Just food or... Yeah, like general supplies you would need for taking the ship out for long voyages and stuff. Uh, food, probably some, maybe some medical supplies. I don't know if we could afford a lot of hypos. How much money do you have, Bumbles? Uh, Bumbles has uh, 1865 credits. Yeah, and I have 618. So if we if we get any medicine, then we'll have we won't have a lot of it. Yeah. Plus, it's a small town anyway, so... Yeah. But just have the bare essentials. You were able to procure some supplies for the ship. It's nothing great, extraneous, or, or high class, but it's good, sustainable food for a voyage. Um, probably a couple months worth of materials. Um, I would say maybe 800 credits for it. And you are talking like 60 days worth of meals, so. Yes, and another question. Does Blumbles manage to find uh, any hot chocolate, uh, I forget what they're called, like pucks? That, that's not what they're called. Something. Carrots. I forget what they're called. They, something like that. I have what? no idea what you're talking about. Let me hot say, let me go to Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia hot chocolate. Yes, they have an article on hot chocolate. <laughs> that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Not really. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. So, so they include hot chocolate, but they don't include taxes. Okay, it's pods. Okay, uh, hot chocolate we'll, pods. <laughs> uh, Chaba will pay for the majority of the food. You'll just need to pay 182 credits for the remainder. Nah, that's fine. Are, are these for like a drink machine? Yes. Okay. Um, you you get some like cheapo pods for you know sixty Achoo. credits. Whew. Very nice. Okay, so how much did you want me to pay, Rocky? 182 credits. 192 plus 60. 242. Yep. And that takes care of all the supplies plus your hot job. Ah. Down to 1623. I would say that there's uh, probably a couple dozen of the pods. So, just see where we're Nice. Bumble seems genuinely happy. It's hard not to be frightened by a Wookiee smile. <laughs> you guys or get go woo -woo. You guys get the supplies back to the YT-1000. Get everything on board, loaded, stashed, put away. And now what? Uh, Blumbles will just take a seat in the common area uh, with Chaba. So he says, you know what? Should we name this thing? Uh, man, I thought of a name. Why, you got one? Uh, let's hear yours first. A sultry Shistavanin. Oh. <laughs> What's your idea? I have to admit, uh, yours kind of may break my train of thought. <laughs> Bubble uh, scratches yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, mine, mine aren't too creative like that. <laughs> the sultry suit of Vania, whatever you said. S sultry Shishtavanian. Shishtavanian, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll go with that. From Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we going to do until they get back? Which will probably be, uh, I don't know, a week maybe? I have no idea. Considering I don't have any more money. And I know you probably don't have an incredible amount more money. And also, we probably shouldn't get into too much trouble. I don't say anything about getting into trouble. 
We could uh, just hit the town. Uh, hit some local food joints, maybe. I'd love to go in the forest, but uh don't really have the time for that. Yeah, well, I mean, we wait in like a week, right? Yeah, we got a week, so I guess we could take a little hike. I haven't seen a tree in like camping. ages. Hmm? Let's go camping. <laughs> <laughs> Camping episode. If that's what you guys want to do, that's fine by me. I just... You guys get the <laughs> ship, you leave town, you find a set of trees, you park the ship. That is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> you literally just land in a fucking forest. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you guys sit and wait? A week. Bumbles thoroughly enjoys being amongst nature. I'm gonna like I'm gonna fiddle around with the astrogation computer, and uh, I'm gonna see how long it would actually take to get from here to Rhodia, and then back. Give me an astrogation check with. We're gonna go with three difficulty. Okay, I'm not really the best at this, but you know, at least I got something in it. That's all I need. One success, one threat. Um, this ship, it would take about six days to get to Rodeo. It's about 12 days, a round trip. A little longer than a week. We'll probably wait here. I would imagine, well, I mean, I might as well wait here until they come back. <laughs> well, it's been about three days at this point in time. Let's say that, because you had two days for the repair. You know, and then an extra day for your ice cream supply episode. <laughs> I'd say Blumbles would spend most of his time just roaming around outside. I think he wouldn't go far from the ship. He'd definitely stay within viewing distance. He'd also just... definitely going to go hunting at least once. <laughs> oh, Blumbles will definitely die along for that. Uh, Blumbles will also meditate amongst nature. See if it feels any different from meditating in... Uh... The ship. Um, it's a little bit easier to connect to the living force out in the forest. Nice. This is a great time to uh, use it as you know background to you advancing your powers and shit. So, indeed. But honestly, how long do you guys? wait for <laughs> we have to wait until they come back as far as i'm aware they're coming back here that's okay. what blumbles assumes anyway i don't remember neither does java <laughs> okay that's that's fine that's fine so you are waiting a nine additional days because you think that that is the amount of round trip time it takes to get to rhodia and back to here yep yeah, pretty much we'll probably wait that long and then probably start to wonder why they're not back yet. <laughs> There's not a lot to hunt in the forest. Um, nothing of real big game, at least. There's not, like, you know, moose or anything like that. So, But there's some, you know, some basic small creatures. You know, uh, one would provide a decent enough meal for you, but it's obviously going to leave Blumbles wanting. Mm. <laughs> Are there any, like, fishing spots around here? Yeah, I would say that you'd be able to find some, some running water and everything. I mean, this is a forest, after all. So, yeah, you can go fishing. All right, we'll oh, probably yeah. take a crack at that a few times, too. Well, you guys are <laughs> fucking camping for nine days. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, Back to Arden and Bortuna. Hi. <laughs> Is Harden still here? Okay, excellent. yeah, I'm here. I'm, ma I'm making sure, sir. Um, were we wrong? Were we supposed to meet you at Pat? Hush, hush. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive in the pack system <laughs> four days after you leave Rodia. So you guys have been gone for a total of seven days since you left Chaba and Blumbles. 
What would you like to do, sir? Well, uh... Can I scan to see if there are any ships? Because... From what I believe, they could already be here or they'd be a little bit longer. Uh, you weren't entirely sure the hyperdrive capabilities of the ship, but considering you guys went way far out of your way to get here to get to Rodia to drop off Roos and then back here, you would figure, even with repair times, that they should be here by now. Mm. So go ahead and give me a computer check for scanning the system to see if you can find something that looks like the silhouette signature of a YT-1000. Uh, what difficulty, sir? We're going to go with three difficulty because although this is a system that doesn't have a planet per se there is still a number of objects in the system nice uh three success one threat mm-hmm okay you do pick up a couple things that look like they could possibly be the YT-1000, but after a more thorough investigation, they are derelicts of similar size and shape and class. So, after running down through, you're realizing that they are not here in system. Mm. I told them to meet me here. I told them to meet us here, did I not? Yeah, I thought so. <gasps> oh my gosh, what if the Imperials got them? Or even worse, a space worm. <laughs> <sighs> We're just fucking This kidding. is why we need communicators. Hey, I know. I'll just call them. <laughs> That's not going to work, Bortuna. Niner, Niner. We don't have the range. It. What? <laughs> We don't have the range. What do you mean we don't have the range? Even fully working comlinks, I think the top range is like 50 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you're good with, like, I don't know, make it work more. <laughs> Not how it works. They're uh. like... Yeah, they're one hyper jump away, but it's quite a distance still from... Here to Chardon. Even with their repairs. What's a postcard? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen them in souvenir shops in some places. They're like a little... You know, it doesn't matter. Um, well, what do you want to do then? <sighs> this is where we're supposed to be to get our orders. Right... So why are they not here? Well, I've got a few standing theories. Theory number one. Imperial interference. Theory number two. Space worm. Theory number three. I'm pacing around the cockpit at this point. <laughs> theory number three. Maybe they forgot. And theory number four. Two space worms. <laughs> I told them. Three times. Yeah, but... I no made absolute sure. Yeah, this is, and this is what happens. This is what happens. <sighs> mm. Well, why don't we just stay here, get our orders, tell them that we had... D d I don't know, we can make up some excuse why they're not here. There's only one excuse. You guys are idiots. That's the only excuse. You guys? <laughs> excuse me? Listen, <laughs> mister, I want to hop off the ship and go out to get a food and gamble. Just because I want to see the sights does not make me intellectually inferior. Yes, when we have a clear mission of what we need to do. 
we needed to be here. That's what they said. Yeah, but you shaved like two days off our wait time. Because you drive so get fast. To, to get to Rhodia, it still took, it was still took us. That was enough time for them to repair the ship. Hey, wait, how are our contacts going to know we're here? Actually, that's a really good question. They didn't say anything about that. They just said meet here with mm. the ship. <gasps> Wait oh, a second. The ship. Oh, no. If they're looking for the silhouette of the ship, they're not going to find us. <laughs> Who's the idiot all now? comes together. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, the two idiots that are supposed to be here now when I told them to be here. Are we going to have to go all the way back? <laughs> Just to check and see if they're there, they're going to be got by space worms. Okay. There is not the hollow net system, but you guys can, you know, beam messages, you know, via the much slower sp uh, subspace replace. I got it. I'll send him an email. <laughs> You've got space mail. <clears throat> Let me get on my <clears throat> dear Blumbles. How do you spell Blumbles? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Whatever, dear uh, Chapa. Yeah, that's work. Where is you? Signed, she said. P.S. Uh, bring snacks. P.P.S. Arden is mad. And uh, sent. Okay. <laughs> How long are you willing to wait? I'm going to stare at the screen until a response comes. Arden, how long are you willing to wait in the system? <laughs> I'm just going to plot a course to Shardon. Okay. <laughs> you, you can roll if you'd like to. It's not necessary. We're not even going to hassle with that. You just... I'm, I'm turning the ship around. <laughs> kind of moments. <laughs> but I just sent the email! And the ship jumps into hyperspace. <laughs> okay, well... Too late now, I guess. <laughs> You know, this won't actually happen, but I'm just imagining him sitting there staring at his computer screen. And then all of a sudden he hears the gling, like, message received. He looks back, and he's caught up to his own message. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually about to ask. They're probably moving faster than the internet. <laughs> For you, Arden, I, I would imagine that the jump from Pax to Shardon... Is only like a day. It's a fairly straight shot. There's nothing really in between. And with the way that you have been piloting the Star Jammer, nice and quick and easy. You arrive back in system. Okay. And... I'm going to go to the lot. I don't want to see where they went. Quick scan of the lot as you approach. You're not seeing the YT-1000 in the spot that it was in. There's, there's a free spot by the office so you can land. Sopral comes out and like, Welcome to so I know you. <laughs> yes. Hey. Um, would you happen to know where the Wookiee and Jawa went? Mm -hmm. I noticed the ship wasn't here. The repairs were done. I wish them luck. They gave me a tip and a hot dog, which I enjoyed the hot dog, and they left. Oh my gosh. They did get got by space worms. Space worms? Never heard of them. Ignore him. Which way did they go? Did you, if you happen to notice? Uh, 
I did not see which way they went. Maybe they went to town to grab supplies. I mean, I don't know how long you were expected to be on the vessel, but I didn't pack food. They didn't pack food. They definitely went to get food. All right. Thank you. Best of luck finding your friends. Uh, thank you. Do I even want to find them? As he's, he's, Do I even want to find them as I'm walking up the ramp? <laughs> Come on, we gotta crack this case! Detective Bortuna is on the case. <laughs> you fly Long the game, town. let's search for crews. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was so terrible, and I loved it. You make your way to town. You land. You start going into town. I presume you're trying to find what happened to them since. Yeah, well, I would ask, like, the deckhands. Like, have they had, like, a Wookiee in, or in Jawa? Have they seen, like, the YT... Have they seen an old-looking YT-1000... Piloted by a Jawa and Wookiee. Give me a chance, cube roll. Pick a color of your favor. Ah, <sighs> blue. Of course. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, they do not remember when they came through. Um, they do remember them coming through, but not as to when. There's been in and out traffic, so they're doing what they do every day. And unfortunately, they did not keep track of that. Well, if they did come through, then that probably means they were going to town, right? Probably looking for supplies, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat. I know how these guys think. Yes, but they're not here now. Where, if they're, they weren't at PAX, which they should have been there, there was plenty of time. They should have been there within that allotted amount of time. So we're operating under Imperial or Space Worms. Hey, Chaba. Yeah. Give me a perception check. Four difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Oh, uh, 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 maybe. You gotta move the yellow. Oh, no. Nah, either way. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. no. Why? That one fell down onto only just one threat. So, that's one. No. Two success. Two success and two threats. As you come back from one of your uh, fishing trips... Blumbles is still outside, uh, communing with nature. Uh, you notice a little blinking light in the cockpit. And what this is? All right, uh, Blumbles. I'm gonna go in the ship. There's something going on in there. Alrighty. I go in the ship and see what the blinking light's about. Um, you have a communication, a, a message. I open it. Go ahead. What was the message? <clears throat> Dear Chaba. Dearest Chaba. We <laughs> are at PAX. Where are you guys? Did you get eaten by space worms? <laughs> P.S. <laughs> please bring snacks. P.P.S. Arden is very upset. Signed, she said. I'm gonna like, does this ship have an intercom? Nope. I'm just gonna yell. <laughs> at Blumbles! Yeah. We were supposed to go to PAX. We should probably leave right now. <laughs> oh. I'm supposed to come back to the ship. He's like, oh, I, oh, and I forgot something. Oh, should we go now? Yeah, might as well. Now, hang on a minute. We should probably put out that fire first. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We do so. <laughs> and uh, Blumbles would say, wait a minute. Do you think... Wait, let me try something. 
and Bulma's gonna like <laughs> sit down, go into his little force trance. Is there any way he could sense Arden <laughs> and them on the planet? Do you have that ability? That's a good question. I can't remember what I bought last time. Take a look. Ah, dang it. I do not. I did upgrade move, though. But I do not have the sense. So he just, like, closes his eyes and... Yeah, I, I got nothing. I can feel the trees and everything, but not people, I guess. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm back to fourth now. All right. Uh, should we reply to them first? Yeah, let me do that. Uh, Blum was going to type a uh, <laughs> reply back to Fortuna. So, hey, the Blumble's here. On our way to PAX now, we forgot. Sent. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is on our way uh, to PAX now. We forgot. Sorry. Blumble's. All right, there we go. I need a perception yeah, check from both Bortuna and Arden at two difficulty. <laughs> wow. 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 A Loki. Two difficulty, you said? Yes. Oh, I thought that was already rolled. Damn. Don't should one of us the white side? Yeah. Should one of us re-roll? Maybe. Yeah. Probably John. Yeah. We have a better chance of. Yeah. All right. This. I'll do the re-roll. Oh. The exact same thing. How about that astrogation check? As you guys are wandering around the town and asking if they've seen a Jawa and a Wookiee, you come across a protocol droid making ice cream for some children. Sprinkles! And shower. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to take five, Arden. Hello, and welcome to Space Cream. How can I help you? Mm, oh, what do I want? What do I want? Oh, 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 oh! Do you guys have any? Um, oh, Bumbles recommended it to me that one time. Um, oh, oh, Tauntaun milk chocolate. Out of Tauntaun milk. I'm sorry, I do not have any Tauntaun milk. However, with some of my ingredients, I can make something that tastes very similar to Tauntaun milk chocolate. Oh yeah, that'd be great. He starts making the ice cream. Just... Mm. <laughs> I imagine Arden is just standing there. You know, staring. you are the second customer to ask for Tauntaun milk chocolate in the past two weeks. I'm sorry? I had a rather tall, fuzzy Wookiee come through here ask for the same thing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Arden I got a lead What? <laughs> it's droid He saw Blumbles Or at least a really tall Wookiee That ordered something that Blumbles recommended to me one time You, you see this hey. droid just making ice cream on this table Was the big fuzzy Wookiee With a smaller thing Yes, and the little one did not want sprinkles on his ice cream cone. It was disappointing. Really? That's kind of strange. Did you want sprinkles to... as well? Absolutely. You see a little cannon nozzle, you know, turn up at his shoulder. Sprinkles! <laughs> oh, hell. Oh. It's everywhere. <laughs> uh, this is awesome! <laughs> Here Great. is your ice cream. That will be 30 credits. Credits. Freaking highway robbery. You are correct. With sprinkles, it is thirty-two credits. Uh. <laughs> okay. 
There you go. Here's 32 credits. Hey! What? How long ago was it you said that you saw the Wookiee? He kind of, like, looks at you, cocks the head off to the left. You see the eyes dim and then come back into focus. Roughly seven days ago. A week. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. So we're here a week ago. They're not here now. They've not come back in the town, so they either bought a week's worth of supplies and then dipped, or the worms got them. Did you want gummy worms? Uh, how much are those? Four credits. Yeah, yeah, I'll take some. He, he reaches down on the thing, pulls out, you know, four jelly gummy worms and puts them in your spring in your ice cream <laughs> oh this place is great oh man this is my favorite ice cream joint star cream is the best ice cream in the stars star cream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't happen to have any further information on the wookie and the java do you the Wookiee was a source of sprinkles for the neighborhood children for many hours afterwards. Oh my gosh, he was eaten by children. <laughs> this is far worse than I imagined. You happen to hear overhear them say about going anywhere? No. Well. All right. Well, thank you. You're not going to get anything? No. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? We're looking for... <sighs> We're gathering information. As he's got I'm this going cup back to the I'm, gonna spoon, I'm going back to the ship. Shoving it in his face. <laughs> I'm going back to the ship. I, I'll... Just... Uh... Oh. No, sorry, you go. I was gonna say, I'll start looking for the children. <laughs> no, we're going... Just go back to the ship. I'm going to interrogate the children. No, you're not. You are going back to the ship. What? With me. I, I have this image in my head of the Terminator <laughs> with Twi with Laku and a cup of ice cream. <laughs> I posted what Arden's face has been like the whole session. Probably all the time, actually. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, spot on. Spot on. <laughs> anyway, back to the ship we go, I guess. Friggin'. Kids might know something. Kids might hate him, for all we know. Didn't you send them a message? Yeah, I sent Jabba an email. Okay, well, since we got back onto the planet, they should have sent... They would have received it if they were still here for some reason. Yeah. No chance of getting a reply, we though, if they were eaten by the worms. We could, you know, check it. Okay, yeah. I, I'm just imagining you, you know in the cockpit, you know, and this is the indicator that would show if a message was ever going to be received, and it just then lights up. <laughs> <laughs> you have mail. Oh! Are we back on the ship? Can I check my email? Sure. Okay. I'm going to check my email for any messages. You've got a lot of junk mail. No, it's going to take me forever to How sort through this crap. How to force, you know. Oh. Make your Leku 12 inches longer. Uh, I'm going to book my family. <laughs> uh, we've been trying to reach you about your ship's extended warranty. Oh, well, that's probably important. I should... Okay, I'll get to that one in a minute. Let's see. Um, I really need to work on my spam filters. Oh, I got a coupon! <laughs> $12 off an oil filter. <laughs> Pretty good deal, actually. All right, yeah. this is great. Most oil filters run in the several hundreds. <laughs> it's a twelve dollar <laughs> coupon. That's about you know, maybe ten to percent off. <laughs> Let's uh, see. Oh, I think I can sort these <laughs> keywords. Chapa and Blumples. You have two emails. <laughs> one from Chaba, one from Blumbles. The one, the one from Chaba is just going on about uh, how much you owe him for the Samuel Flange repairs. 
Ooh, that one's <laughs> old. And the other one is, is from Bumble says that they're on their way to PAX now. And that oh. they forgot. I'm it going was, to look at... It was literally received two minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm going to whip out my comm link really quick. Niner, Niner, this is G-Set. Somebody come in. Over. I'm hey. right next to you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no, those two are out of range. <sighs> no signal. Well, Arden, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Which one do you want first? They forgot to go to PAX and they're going there now, aren't they? They didn't get eaten by space worms. <sighs> I hate you all. Detective Bartuna cracks the case! <laughs> is there, yeah, a, way, is there a way to slam a landing ramp? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'm going back to Bax. <laughs> Good thing this baby has great fuel economy. It has good fuel economy, right? It has better fuel economy than a Star Destroyer. Hey! <laughs> you take Sorry. off. You make your way back to Pax. However, just as a side note, your ship has a faster hyperdrive than the YT-1000. <laughs> you get well, the packs. I know they're going there. <laughs> you get the packs. And you're waiting there for about half a day. Fortuna has been annoying you the entire time. <laughs> Was anybody surprised? No. And eventually into the system blips... A YC-1000. <laughs> Boom. Near. This is the right system, right? Uh, yeah, unless I checked. I think we're in the right place. I hailed them. <laughs> Pax? I thought you said peaks. What kind of compass <laughs> are you using, boy? <laughs> No, oh, I think we're getting a a message from uh, somewhere. Uh, no, turn Bumble's. on the space phone. Yeah, turn on the space phone. Hello? Why are you two idiots? <laughs> oh, hey, Arden. I told you. Three times. Meet me at Pax. Let it be known that I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I get over here. As Chavez in a here. little fishing hat. <laughs> I go back and he says, you probably went to town. I go to town. Me and Bortuna are searching for hours. And Bortuna happens upon an ice cream shop. And it so happens to have served a Wookiee in a Jawa a week ago. Hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I should do the talking. Okay, so I know we know we know that we know they're here in the system. How they got here before we did, and mm. not happy. No, no, he's he's very angry, very very angry. Yeah, that, too that's bad normal. The force. Though, so let's just find him. Too bad the force doesn't help with memory. Are you sure about that? It he looks at Java. Hasn't helped me any. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go uh, to the station. I don't My know, finger pretty. is just hovering over the cannons. <laughs> I want to test this new toy I could, so I bad. Could, I, could, I, I could make this so easy for myself. But Arden, wouldn't that technically be considered a war crime? Only if it's found out. <laughs> da, 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 
<laughs> Going back to his old imperial ways. <laughs> I think if you kill aliens as a human, it's not a war crime at all under <laughs> the Empire. Oh, I was thinking the rebels. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's terrible. Uh, as you two are reconnecting flight wise, uh, eventually, Chaba, you get a ping from a different source and system. Uh, I activate the space phone again. <laughs> bring, 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 bring. Uh, is this the uh, operative cell? Yes. Uh, please verify your command code. Shit. Level. <laughs> <laughs> Level. Lo- 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 were we given a command code? I was about oh, to ask wait. you that. Command code? Right, right that's Arden. Uh, the individual with said command code is on a separate vessel. Please contact... Oh, shit. What's the, what's the phrase? What's the ship? What's the Solar Kraken's new designation? We don't know that. Please stand by. <laughs> <laughs> This is getting so much suspicious all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, uh, please hold. Please hold. Uh, I, I push push this the, the call waiting button. <laughs> <laughs> I, call, I call the solar kraken or whatever it is now. <laughs> nope, Arden, get your hand off the phone. I'm answering it. They hung up on you. This is more doing it. Hey Bortuna, uh, we we just got we just got a we just got a call from the salesman that we were meeting here at PAX. They need to talk to Arden. Oh, well, why are you calling us for? Patching you through now. Okay, Arden, it's for you. Basically, a three-way call now. Yep. <laughs> here is. I hope. The individual with the command code. I hope he has the command code. Do you have the command code? Arden? Okay. Ar- it- Did we get a command code? I can't remember. I don't remember getting the command code. Arden would have gotten the command code. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's unresponsive. Quick, somebody call a doctor. Uh, wait, that's me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, there seems to be a communication error. Uh, no, th- no, there it goes. Sorry. Again. Sorry, I was in the refresher. What? <laughs> What's going on? Command code. Next time you hang hang up on me again, you little shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, you'll never see it coming. This is the operative cell. I need a command code. Five seven eight nine. Command code checks out. Uh, make your way along this designation. It is a fairly small uh, hangar area. Uh, we weren't expecting two ships. It might be tight. All right. Thank you. And a, you know, little message comes in and basically guides you through the field uh, to uh, an oversized (laughs) asteroid, almost. The thing is slowly rotating and the the course is correcting itself, but not super quick. It's got a refresh rate of, you know, probably about three seconds. So as it slowly, like spins up and around to the right. Um, you're seeing it correct itself a little bit towards that, and then a couple seconds later it corrects itself again, almost tracking where it needs to go. And All right. as the asteroid rotates around, you see that in the side of it there is a large sphere just kind of crammed into the side of it. Ooh. And you can see that there's a, a hangar area. It looks like it was built into slash 
out of the asteroid right next to the side of the sphere. And it's guiding you to that. Nice. I need piloting checks from both pilots at this point in time. Uh, it's going to be... Two difficulty for... No, let's make it three difficulty for both of you. Like I said, it's a fairly small cockpit area. How does that die on its side? One success, two threat. There I didn't go. roll it, I just picked it up. I have no idea why it did that. <laughs> I see that, I see that. He's got two success, two threats. You guys both managed to put the ships in in such a way that you don't block either of your landing ramps and you're very, very tight against each other. Um, if we look at the, the ships here on the table, mm -hmm. you're more or less parked kind of like that. Ooh. You're not touching, but it's very, very tight. Oh, that's not so bad. I mean, the boarding ramp is uh, here and here on the vessel, so theoretically we should be able to get out. Exactly. But the uh, the Star Jammer is a size class larger than the YT-1000. Sorry, the Sultry Shishtavanian. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go check on the hot dog that was in the hyperdrive. <laughs> You go check on the hot dog that was in the hyperdrive manifold. There is no hot dog in the hyperdrive manifold. <laughs> is anything there at all? There's some grease, like engine grease, and what looks like a, uh, a dusty particular ash in it. Oh, would you look at that? At Blumbles, I think I think the hot dog stayed in the stayed where we, you know, when we first jumped out of, outside of the planet's atmosphere. I think the hot dog kind of got left behind. Blumbles uh, comes in and <laughs> he looks at the spot. I think you overcooked it. You sure about that? You sure we didn't just jump and the hot dog got left behind because it was touching the hyperdrive manifold? <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> you know, way, maybe. It's not there anymore. So, you know. Maybe if we're working off space time, maybe the hot dog got left behind in space. That's what I'm thinking. Jump. I, I have no idea. Let, let's just go. Wait, let's go get yelled at. Hmm? Is there atmosphere out there? Is there atmosphere? It's a hangar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were on an exterior hangar. Sorry. <laughs> well. The hangar was built in and out of the asteroid edge along the side of this big circular structure. So the hangar is exteriorly located a bit, but it is not like an open field kind of a thing. It's just it's it's entrance port is outside, you know? Yeah. God, I don't know if I'm explaining things properly tonight. <laughs> nah, you're good. Yeah. All right, let's go get a. Well, yeah, well, that's the wrong word. More like uh, uh, what's Ringed? the term? Yeah, ringed out by Arden. Let's go do yeah. that. Bumbles picks up Java, puts him on his shoulder, and whoop. Hey, hey, don't tell him we went camping. Probably won't. Probably won't be happy if we tell him we went camping. You Still might want to. Uh, you might want to take that off then. He points at the fishing hat. <laughs> I, I take the hat off. There's a bunch of photographs of us inside the cockpit. <laughs> I imagine at least three of them is various funny, funny quote unquote pictures of Chaba and this like very stoic, very sad, still on a rock blumbles. Yeah. <laughs> or Chaba floating through the air with the force. That's <laughs> uh, great. It is. The, the four of you meet outside, you know, in this hangar area. You're, you're basically having to, like, crawl around the engines to stay inside the fucking hangar at this point. 
Hey. What's <laughs> that think about? <laughs> I just walk away and find the deckhand and <laughs> see where we need to go. Uh, hey, goodbye. On this side. Uh, of the sh of the shifty, the sultry, not shifty. That is a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> on this side, there is an entrance. It looks like to the uh, large dome structure. So that way, then. Come on, guys. All right, let's go. I am at uh, Blumbles' mercy, so yeah. I don't get no It was over here, I think he said. <laughs> Sorry. This way. <laughs> so, uh, how was the trip there, Bortuna? Well, Arden was mad the whole time, and he wouldn't talk to me, so I had to do all the talking for him. You know how that goes. <laughs> uh, I wrote a couple emails. Uh, then I had a really weird one about my uh, my ship's extended warranty. It took me days to get that hashed out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Insurance guys, I tell you. No, it we tend to be warranty. merciless. Bortuna, you are now 300 credits later. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, gosh, let's see, what else? I'm pretty sure there was some... Oh, hey, you know, I got to try that ice cream uh, that you had talked about forever ago. You remember? The the Tauntaun? Oh, yeah, Tauntaun? yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got to have some uh, before we left Chardon. Stuff was pretty good. I mean, it was artificial, but, you know. Yeah, it was a decent imitation, but... If it meets the real thing. It does it. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of totally forgot to meet us here, to meet you guys here. <laughs> oh, that was that's me. fine. It's that a few was days extra me. waiting. You know, it's not a big deal. Like whatever. You know, it's just like military stuff. Who cares? You know. Probably should have yeah. wrote it down. Yeah, we probably should have wrote it down. <laughs> Maybe on a hot dog. Yep, you still have some of those. Oh, yeah, dude. I got like seven. You want one? <laughs> yep. I'd like one. Why there you go. I, why do I picture Jabba, Chaba with a bandolier of hot dogs now? <laughs> At some point, that's probably going to happen. Yeah. Bumbles takes a hot dog. <laughs> Tactical hot dogs. Yes. <laughs> Arden Enough is of. just like 15 feet ahead of everybody else. Like yeah. fucking Black Storm Cloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. As you make your way uh, into the structure, you're realizing that it is fairly significant in size. I mean, the hangar area was, you know, large ish. You know, the, with the two ships, it's obviously small, but this dome is easily five, six times the size of the hangar. Easily. And it's very crowded um, with a bunch of connections, wires, tubes. It looks like so many things have been cobbled together that it's hard to make out of what this was at one point in time. <clears throat> it's almost like extension cords running through a house during Christmas, you know? This has got to be an OSHA violation. In Star Wars, there is no OSHA. I know, we've been over this, but... <laughs> <laughs> there is a suspicious lack of a railway, and this uh, walkway is, you know, maybe four feet wide at tops. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm gonna, like, hold on to Blumbles' back fur. <laughs> that That's actually Chaba's ass hair, so I'd be careful about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... I, I keep... Well, I, I'm... Aren't I a reptilian? I am so confused. <laughs> I keep changing from like reptilian to mammal to reptilian. At this point, we're going to make you a fish, so fuck it. 
A fish from a desert planet, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's probably <laughs> some the sprinkles back there. That, that would be awesome. There's well, probably you... some sprinkles back there. Find small rocks, a couple sprinkles, you know. <laughs> a dingleberry. Oh, no. What are you looking for back there? I'm hanging on for dear life. Oh, oh okay. Good. Uh, go ahead, then. <laughs> um, eventually, you kind of get out of this narrowed path into more of an open deck style area and give me a mechanics check everybody that wants to try for this at too difficulty oh I'm gonna nail this yeah sure I'll give it a whirl too difficulty red black die Oh yeah, that's uh, three fail, two advantage. Uh, two success, two threat. Two success, three advantage. Bortuna, you do find some sprinkles. Oh. They they have survived over a week being stuck in Blumble's fur. Uh, <laughs> Blumble's in Chaba because you have succeeded. Did Arden roll or not? I don't no, think... I did roll. Okay. Um, the structure that you're seeing off in the center of this basically looks like a giant generator and what looks like a, a series of engines around it. Huh. That's something. Hmm. Interesting design. What are you guys talking about? Give me an intelligence check, the two of you, because you two passed. Um, difficulty. Too difficulty. All right, same roll for me. Not for me. <laughs> uh, two threat, two success again. One success, one threat. I was about to say, yours is one threat, Bumbles. Or is the yellow not rolled? Oh, no, 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 no. Yellow. It was close. That's why I asked. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Two success, two threat. What'd you uh, get there? One success, one threat. Nice. You, because of the walkway and the engines and everything, you guys are veering a little bit closer to the edge than you realize that you were. And you kind of correct yourself. And you're realizing that this whole structure is uh, spherical. Ooh. So what you saw on the outside when you came in, it looks like this whole thing buried itself into the asteroid at one point in time in the past. Mm. Is this? We're in a, like a spherical thing right now, right? Yeah. That's what you're approximating, yes. Are we in the core of a Trade Federation vessel? Like just the core, missing the outer ring? Have you ever been in one? I doubt Chaba has ever been in one, but he may have <laughs> seen them. He may have even seen diagrams of them too, because he is a starship mechanic. In well, those textbooks. Give me a chance cube roll. What's your favor? Red, let's, baby. Let's find out if you've researched it in even the latest amount. <laughs> he got red. This does look like the interior of a Lucre Hulk. Command pod. Right. Oh, this thing's kind of a relic. What is it? What's going on? Uh, It's kind of complicated to explain, but we're technically in a ship right now. We're part of one anyway. Hmm. You guys ever seen those uh, ships kind of look like a Cheerio with a piece bit out, but then like a dot in the center? Oh, yeah. I've seen those on the History Channel. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're in, but we're only in the center part. I don't know where the rest of the ring is. The only programs Portuna ever watched on the History Channels was Ancient Aliens. With the <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do the Yuzong Vong really exist? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Arden, uh, you yes. eventually come to a ladder that goes... It, it's up, but it's kind of disorienting in here. You know. Kind of goes up and slightly curved to the right, basically. Mm. Mm. Give uh, me... I guess I'll climb up it. Give me a... Uh, let's go with coordination. Check, please. Too difficult. What a thrill. Uh, 
Wow. Nice. Uh, you see Arden start his way up this ladder ahead of you guys, and you can kind of see it, like, list a little. Like, the supports that are holding it are kind of showing their age. Ooh. But he does make it up the ladder with no problem. And it is the only path for you guys to go at this point. Hmm. Oh, you think they fixed the ladders around here? <laughs> well, considering they're working with the salvaged ship here, probably don't have the resources. More, more so, this is probably a secret area, so they can't exactly call in any sort of supplies or anything along those lines. Well, per se. Question yeah. is, why do they need us? I don't know. All right, here. Uh, Bumble will take Chaba off and like place him on the ladder. You can go up first, because it uh, looks a little wobbly for me. Especially if we both win. All right. Arden. Yes. Give me a perception check. One difficulty, please. Ooh. Uh, one fail, three advantage. Uh, your helmet, does it have any, um, visual enhancements to it or not? Uh... No, it does not. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. That was on. That was going to be one of the things I was going to do for it, but at the moment it does not. Okay. <laughs> well, you are slowly adjusting to the uh, the lighting that's all available up here. Um, it is a little bit brighter than emergency lighting, but not by much. And with your helmet and everything like that, it's still s of a significant darkness to you that nothing is noticed up here. Java. Yeah. You get to the top of the ladder, and there's Arden. Are you waiting on them, or are you continuing on, Arden? Uh, I kind of glance down to see if they're climbing up the ladder. Well, you see Chaba climbing up, I, I would say, about halfway when you started to look, and probably Bumble's at the bottom waiting for Chaba to get up there. And Fortune yeah. is behind him. Bumble's is actually going to shift around. Say, alright, Fortuna, you go on up. I'll hold the ladder for you like I did Chaba. Yeah, okay. Uh... By the way, uh, Bumble's actually going to look uh, around. Have we, have we seen anybody around here? Not yet. Hmm. And you Bumble's can't gonna... sense anything, because you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Bumble's is actually going to look up and say, uh, have you guys noticed how empty it is around here? Well, yeah. Honestly. Uh, am I at the top of the ladder? Yeah. By this point in time, I would say you've reached the top of the ladder, yes. Uh, I guess I'll take I, a look around. I was about to say, you uh, also give me a perception check with the two difficulty. Uh, Bortuna. Hi. Coordination check, two difficulty, please. Do, do, do. Oh, no. Goes. Hard. Uh, we'll get back to you in a minute, Chubba. Yeah. That's a Ooh. fail in one threat. <laughs> uh, as you begin climbing up the ladder, um, Ch uh, Blumbles is at the bottom, kind of holding it steady. Um, as you reach about a third of the way up, um, you feel one of the supports on your left kind of give out, and you kind of overcorrect yourself, kind of grab the ladder to, to prevent yourself from falling down. Oh, freak. Okay. Uh... You all right? Uh, uh... He's going to cut himself. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's freaking ow. Am I still on the ladder? Yes. Okay, that 
But yeah, I'm fine. I got a cut. I'm kind of bleeding, but like not. Re- you know what I'm talking about? You know when you're like kind of bleeding, but you're not really bleeding. You know. Chaba. Yeah. As you hear Bortuna on the ladder start to cry a little bit, your eyes adjust to the darkness, and you see what looks like a BX battle droid, kind of in the shadows. An active BX battle droid? With that roll? No. Oh. Ooh. Does it look as though it is like defunct? As in it, it, it isn't functional? Or has it just been turned off? It looks like it's non-functional. It's kind of slumped in the corner a bit. Mm. It looks like it was kind of put there almost as trash, maybe as a, uh, a a totem to spook anybody that comes in here. And I don't see anything else around, right? No, just that. Hey, Arden. Hmm? Watch. Keep an eye out. Look over there on the left. Kind of hard to see. Just focus your vision. He, he points off to this dark corner that's fairly difficult for you to actually see into but when you sit there and kind of focus on it the the shape of the droid starts to come out wouldn't want to run into a group of those that are functional no there's a guy like leading us right no it's just you guys uh, Bortuna. Mm-hmm. I imagine you continue up the ladder at some point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You do make it up the ladder. Yeah, you get to the top. Chaba and Arden are kind of off, looking at the side. Hmm. It's dark up here. Darkish. Yeah. It's pretty dark. Don't you have a glow rod? Yeah. But I think you're really going to help us too much up here. I pulled it out and turned it on. I, it works like a flashlight. I mean, it's, you know, so you've got a directed beam. So. Oh, well, I'll shine it around. That, that's what that's what a glow stick is. I thought <laughs> whatever right here. I thought the glow rub was more like a torch, like an actual torch but electric and it illuminated an area around you. More like a lantern, I guess. No, they they're more like flashlights. Good to know. I I mean, maybe they're like the convertible types, you know, where you slide it up and it becomes like a lantern, and then slide it down and becomes like a flashlight. You know, you know, like that maybe. But this freaking glow rod has been by far the most useful thing I have ever picked up. Yeah, (laughs) and I've had it ever. Imagine something utilitarian. (gasps) (laughs) It's wild, man. I know it's real. (laughs) Um. You start looking around, and it's obvious that this place is on the older side. Um, the droid that's sitting there on the side is out of its misery. Uh, you can see a couple blaster sh- holes in its uh, chest and in its head. That thing's seen better days. <laughs> yeah, it has. Blumble. That's a pretty... Ooh. Yes. It's your turn up the ladder. I need a coordination check. Three difficulty. Oh, boy. Right, let me it, check my... Do I still have that rope that I found on the on the planet with the destroyed, like, the thing we blew up? The weapons facility? <laughs> Do you, did, did you get rid of that rope? I don't think I got rid of that rope. I have no idea. I can't remember. I don't you think I ever... Still have it. You should still have it. Yeah, because I didn't even use it, as far as I'm aware. Sure, I'll let you say you still have that rope. Sure. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna like tie an end off up here somewhere. Is there somewhere? Is there like any kind of anything I can tie it to up here? The battle droid. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that smile I just gave, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I can hold it. Okay, here you go. Hey, Blumble. <laughs> I'm throwing down this rope just. Don't don't bear too much on the rope. Just if the ladder starts to give way, we'll try to catch you, okay? Alright, uh, Blumbles will 
grab it and like wrap it around his right arm and grab it. And, and Chavo will also grab a hold of the rope. <laughs> Did you I brace. already roll? No, no, I have not. So I shall do that now. Oh, blue die. All right, thank you. You got rope, so you got help. Uh, one fail, two advantage. However, uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Whoop. All right, re-roll the good stuff. There you okay. go. Okay, <laughs> nice. One success. Um, with the rope, um, you have a little bit of a well, to pardon the term, a safety rope. You know, so <laughs> as you climb up and you're feeling the ladder kind of shift a little bit, you're able to kind of offset the motion and the movement with the rope, and you're able to get up the ladder without incident. And you get to the top, and there's Bortuna holding the other end of the rope, straining with all he's got, even though you're at the top. <laughs> oh, that was dangerous. I'm not sure where this rope even came from. I wonder who had it in that old facility. Reckon it was the stormtroopers that came to investigate it? More than likely. I, oh, I probably left it behind. Well, their loss, my gain. Our <laughs> gain. And I coil it back up and put it in my bag. <laughs> oh. Oh. If you oh, look at the little there. end where the aglet sits, you know, it's got the little imperial symbol right on the very end of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll be damned. It really is. Huh. Probably some good shit then. <laughs> That's well, some rope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Bortuna. Anytime, brother. The area that you have gotten up to, um, it almost looks like where the ladder was was more of a service entrance style area. Um, as you make your way through a bulkhead door, it opens up into a much more standard hallway area. And there's, you know, better illumination in here. And you can see that one of the doors is down towards the end is opened up and it looks like it's going back into the area that you were just at a different vantage point. And then there is off to your left. It looks like a, a turbo left. Hmm. And then the hallway continues on and around to the other end, which we, you presume goes out to the, you know, big cavern space like area again. Hey, uh, hey, Arden. You know where we're supposed to even go? Uh, no. I figured well, there would have been someone there waiting for us at the hangar, but there wasn't, so. You don't think that this place has been sacked, do you? Yeah, Somebody. pretty quiet. Well, we'll find out. All right, gang, let's split up and search for clues. <laughs> I take out my rifle. <laughs> I'm going up the turbo lift. Blumbles will follow the group, and he'll actually uh, have his uh, bowcaster out and ready, just in case. You guys are making me nervous. I'm going to get my gun out, too. I need a perception check from anybody that cares um, at three difficulty. Everybody cares. I Not care. necessarily. Three <laughs> difficulty? Three. three difficulty. Let me check my perception again. Oh, okay. that's... Oh, no, I don't see it this time. Mm, me neither. I don't see nothing. One advantage. One fail. Okay, uh, I got it. Uh, two success and uh, one threat, I think. Yeah, one threat. As everyone piles into the trouble lift, everyone kind of sets up in positions. Uh, I would say you're probably the second one into the lift, probably towards the back. Uh, you notice that there's blaster shots in the wall. At the rear of the turbo lift. Wait a second. Mumbles will go over to the wall. And he'll actually invest. Uh, look at these. Are these fresh or ancient? Very old. Oh. Whew. All right. Never mind. False alarm. Old blaster shots there. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this is from the Clone Wars. Yeah, more than likely. I really doubt that the vessel. I mean, I wouldn't say entirely that the vessel was input into this asteroid by the Separatists, but I don't know. So. I don't it's definitely know. a Separatist vessel, though. So. Uh, those were the days. 
I wasn't alive then, so I, you know. <laughs> well, I think the only thing big enough to move one of these ship components without the rest of the ship being here is probably space worms. <laughs> yes. Well, Stop with the space worms. <laughs> I watched a documentary! Let's hope they're not uh, buried under the ship somewhere. As everybody's now in the turbo lift, I imagine the doors close and it starts to go up. <laughs> There's still minimal power here, obviously enough. Uh, and as the uh, turbo lift stops, the doors open up and you are greeted to the bridge of this place, basically. Uh, inside, there's about three people. Um, a human. Um, Jesus Christ. I, I, there's tons Jesus of aliens. Is here? Yes, Jesus is here. Uh, it's Obi-Wan oh Kenobi God. himself. <laughs> 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 uh, um, there's a human. Um, uh, there's an Arc Acadian, I believe the term uh, the race is. Uh as well as another system. And they're mm. on different, you know, bits of computers and everything like that. Um, and you see that there's no view at the screen port, you know, the big window at the end. Um, it's straight rock. Mm. But they've got the head, the visual displays and everything going here. And uh, the human turns around, looks at the four of you. Please, come in. Oh, all got all got our weapons drawn except for Arden, probably. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. slowly slide that away. Yeah, Bumbles of Shoulders, Boltcaster. Travel put his gun away as well. No, it's felt like this place was deserted. No, it's not deserted. This is one of the very few, hopefully truly hidden, uh, listening posts from the Empire. Uh, we have mm. a pretty good setup here, and with any luck, they still won't discover us. So, Diggs is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Uh, you need to fix your lighter, though. It kind of broke. Yeah. Well, it's been there for quite some time now. Um, probably a good twenty-five years. Probably also add some railings to the catwalks outside. I mean, that's really dangerous, you know? You slip, fall, you break your head. I mean, what are railings? <laughs> <laughs> so, come in, come in. You were sent by, you know, the command, so uh -huh. make yourselves comfortable. We're still pulling up the last bits of information we have here. Uh, once we have everything assembled, we'll start getting the briefing underway and get you your proper mission orders. All right. Give me a perception check one last time. Anybody that cares to make it. Difficulty. Let's go with one difficulty. Ooh. I can do this. Yes, you can, but will you? I did. Woo. Two advantage, well, not two advantage, two success and five advantage. Two success, two advantage. Two success, one advantage. As you guys kind of sit down and get yourself comfortable, you know, basically waiting for an indeterminate amount of time as these three are working, pulling information together. You guys just basically sit and kind of look around. And near the turbo lift at the back, you see there's a, almost like a cubby set up. And you see five sets of ARC Trooper armor. Ooh. I knew it. I knew it. And that's where we're going to end the evening. Yeah. Are we dead? Did we die in that one shot? Did we stop <laughs> I honestly knew it. That's the first thing I thought when we pointed I, out this too. is a separatist vessel. Oh, oh man, I'm the only one who's out of the loop on this one, but I'm assuming this connects with the clone one shot that I'm going to have to go listen to now so that I can yep. understand context. Dude, I didn't know there were DX battle droids there. BX, BX. The the BX commandos. The ones that you yeah, shot on commando. the bridge. Yeah, they're okay. commandos. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. <laughs>
about Rocky? Uh, I, 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 I thought this was a good way to kind of bring that in. It that makes was a great way. We were never found. No, you were, but you weren't. I mean. <laughs> we were found. It was just, you know. Many years later. <laughs> yeah. Does this mean we have a last hope expanded universe? Or a cinematic <laughs> universe, rather? Yes, it's called the Star Wars universe. <laughs> well, the question is, did, did we restore power to the vessel and then put it here? Or did the Rebels restore power to the vessel and put it here? They well, probably found it adrift. the ship crashed. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. That is so it wasn't space worms. I mean, that is information that we will learn and discover if that is brought up and, and asked about. I mean, that is part of playing the game, after all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys have amused me greatly this evening, 10XP. Woo! Hey, 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 nice. Well, you guys now have two ships, you know. Woo! You, you made your way to the next... You know, stop on the list, and mm -hmm. we're gonna start getting some mission work laid out for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I thought for sure when Chaba succeeded that perception check, I was like, "You see the glint of a scope rifle?" Oh, jeez! <laughs> you know, <laughs> I had truly wrestled with the fact of whether or not you guys would possibly find the clones alive or not. Oh man, that would have been awesome. But then I kind of got to the fact of, you know, considering how this thing crashed and everything, and the fact that you're living creatures on a vessel that's really manned by a bunch of droids, they probably didn't have a lot in the form of food stores. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Plus, life support was running out, if I recall correctly. I remember there wasn't any gravity. That's a certain thing that I recall. Oh, yeah. We had, I think we had, like, very minimal life support, and we were just like, man, I kind of hope we get found. <laughs> better get sucked into a black hole, maybe. Yeah. I think it was being burned up into the sun, but yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were being burned into a sun, but I think there was a black yeah. hole involved. Nope, no black hole. Sorry, sorry <laughs> to piss on your dreams there. <laughs> well, future black hole, maybe. Okay. Setting that for the future. Start. Uh, In the end, we all died thinking we saved the Republic. And what greater way to end it was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, thoughts, comments? Memory is bad. Yes, I memory even... is bad. I even said before he came to you guys, yeah, I'm going to PAX. <laughs> I swear. But I, it, I... It, in all consideration, it did make the session pretty funny. That was, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was funny. It was I, pretty I, good. I, I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to go to PAX. <laughs> like, no, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to stay here. <laughs> yeah, the whole time I was thinking, I, I, was, I don't think that's the plan, but I didn't want to say anything because I felt like that would be metagaming. I know, yeah, it would have been metagaming. I bit my tongue so hard. <laughs> well, had I held the, back. Had they gone straight to PAX, we never would have found the sprinkle droid. No. Yeah. I'm so glad that happened. We also yeah. would have had a rad camping trip. Yeah. True. Could have missed out on a fishing hat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know where I got that hat, but I got it. It's like I have one now. <clears throat> it was found in the captain's cabin underneath the bed. Yes. Yes. Uh, it was fantastic. Great section all around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I try, I try. Um, just so we are aware, I did not stream it. I still haven't updated my Twitch crap yet. But I have recorded it, so I will oh, be converting nice. it and Old. uploading it. So everybody here that actually wants to listen to it is here. So hi, uh -huh. Nemo. Yeah, uh, got a uh, first things first. Buck Bortuna's black dark magic bullshit with the horse die. 